I knew in my heart that Harley isn't an aggressive bird. Harley is a fearful bird. Mm -hmm. And that fear comes out in aggression. So that, you know, and I was, I was trying to push it because I wanted Michelle to have this relationship with this bird and I want, you know, so bad. And, you know, I got her bit twice from what I was doing That's wrong. That's why I was like, I'm not doing you know this I mean? anymore Which was, and I'm waiting. Yeah. I'm and waiting. I was fine with that too. I, you know, mm -hmm. I knew too it would be a better experience with you guys teaching Michelle as opposed to me. Because she said, it's true, she said it in jest, but I don't know what I'm doing. We've only had these four birds for a year or less, you know, mm -hmm. a few months with a couple of them. So I don't know how to do it. So that, that's what I mean. You guys are giving me these basic tools to learn that's going to take me so far with these birds. Mm -hmm. So we came to Connecticut to see Mike and Michelle and their entire flock, and I have never seen a client so organized in my life. Every single bird of theirs has their very own binder full of their weights and how much they eat and all the things that we've been going over for the last few months on our online consultations. So we are working with a kaik, a conure, a macaw, and an Amazon parrot. They also have figured out all their birds' favorite treats and organized them accordingly. They've gotten all of their birds on our seasonal feeding system and our cold pressed pellets because we've been working, like I said, for months with online consultations to kind of get those foundations in place for all of their birds to make the most out of our time with this in-home consultation. So. We are here to see their daily routines with their birds, how they care for them, making sure that everything's going off without a hitch. We start with one of their younger birds, an Amazon parrot named Jaden. Now, one of the unfortunate circumstances for Mike and Michelle is that they want all of their birds to fly and learn flight training. However, when they got all of their birds, except for, I believe, the Kaique, everybody else is clipped and clipped to a point where they're too scared to really fly much at all especially this amazon jaden so we've just been working on the foundations i've had mike and michelle teach their birds how to touch the end of a target which has been utilized for many things not only have they gotten the right amount of sleep for all of their birds they've also been working on some training foundational tools like target training which is so so useful and it makes better use of our time while we're here although their goals are flight training eventually that goal is pretty far down the line i'm going to walk you through cleaning up some of their just beginning training sessions like you're seeing here and I will take you through what we did to improve the training with their Amazon Jaden. Ready? Look at his eyes and all that Spin. body language. No, you're going the wrong way. Spin. 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 He's a bit distracted by the camera. He's yeah. all eye penny at it. First critique. So step out of his bubble. One sec. How many, how many times did you give the cue spin on that last repetition? Twice. Let's rewind that and play again. Okay. Ready? Look at his eyes and all that Spin. body language. No, you're going the wrong way. Spin. 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 He's a bit distracted by the camera. I, I'm somewhere in the tune of like five to seven between the vocal and the visual. Okay. So I think you said the vocal four or five times. Yes. And you kept trying with your hands, maybe even more than that. Um, so. Let's try to cut that number in half this time. Okay. And get it down towards, ideally, one cue. And so, I would say what was working against you on that was, I was noticing you was so into the camera. It is a big thing, right. But, so just try to get his attention first before you give the cue versus trying to get his attention by giving the cue. Gotcha. Does that make sense? It, a lot of sense. So You're the trainer. what I would do here, if it was me, I might put this in my hand. Okay. And do one that way, step back. He just offered it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And I'm so just at the point where I'm starting to just use my finger. Okay. I was I was at the point where I was doing this before. So let me see what I get. Ready to go to work? <laughs> nice. And I heard the hesitation to give the verbal cue. You can still give the verbal cue at the same time as a visual. Okay. You had just given a lot of both. Was was the only challenge. Gotcha. So we're gonna get there faster by implementing. 
a little bit of capturing. So he's offering it. Yeah. When you're not looking. Yeah. So just hang here for a sec. There it is. And give a treat. And that was like seven treats. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's like, ate it too fast. <laughs> so can I just click the back to the wrong way? But we're in a begging phase here. Mm -hmm. So here he's going to offer it. There's the rest. <laughs> Okay, so this time I want you to step just into his bubble and just look at him. Now give the cue for spin. Spin. And you can click. Yeah, got it. See how much cleaner that was? Yes. Uh, and notice when you're out of his bubble, he's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yes, don't something. I noticed that. Yeah. And he then wants to learn something out. Or he wants to, he's doing the tricks now. He wants to engage. He wants to be engaged. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the best, best way to uh, word engage, it. Engage, yeah. So step back in, and then when you think you're going to have a successful rep, then give that. And do you have a clicker now? Yep. Okay, cool. I'll let you click. Spin. Awesome. Already in like four reps, we just cleaned up Perfect. so much. Yep. And okay. so think of your kids. Clean your room, clean your room, clean your room, clean your room. Constant. Eventually, it doesn't matter. Right. But if you only tell them once and they don't do it, you throw away everything. Mm -hmm. The next time you ask them, they'll do it. Laughs is what it <laughs> but the next time you ask once, they'll they're going to clean the room. Right. That's what we want. Okay. Okay. Spin. Sounds like you stepped on a squeaky toy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's you clean this up. You know what to do there. Yeah. Um, but since your flight, your focus with him is flight. Let's work on uh, some like running recalls. Okay. Okay. Make sure you catch more of Jaden the Amazon parrot on our next few series of videos, including his other flock member friends from Mike and Michelle's flock. See you in the next video.